Hello Elements users and welcome to this tutorial. The subject of this awesome tutorial today is converting a color picture to a black and white picture. And we're going to use this picture as the one we're converting. So the first one that everybody knows is image mode grayscale. Discard the color information. Yes. Bada boom. There you go. A nice flat boring picture. So let's not use that one. Let's go back in time. Let's do an edit. Undo. Okay. The second way of doing this is to take your little layers palette here and get yourself a hue and saturation layer. Desaturate the picture. See how that looks. Well, it's better. Not great, but it's better. And let's see what else we can do with it. Can we change the hue? By gosh, we can't. Nothing happens. But we can change the lightness. Okay? See, it's just, we just made it really, really flat. And if we want to go the other way, we can darken it up. It still doesn't look that great. Okay? It's uh, it's just uniform changing. It's not, a, it's not a good one. So we will just tap OK, and then we'll just drag this into the trash bin and get rid of it. The third way we're going to do it is with a gradient map. Now you've got two ways of using your gradient map. One is from the filter menu and I don't think you're going to be able to see this. No you're not. Filter adjustments gradient map and this is what comes up right here. See? Now as I, if I tap on this it's going to bring up this screen right there. So I'm just going to close this and I'm going to move this out of the way and then tap on that uh, gradient with my famous Wacom pen here. Okay, tap on it. There we go. And if you look at this one, it's called black and white. Okay, right there. And what you can do is you can, you can modify things here. You can modify your gradient. And you can change where the, how much black there is, how much white there is. If you go to the middle, the midpoint, this is your midpoint, it's kind of like your middle gray slider. See how we've made the, uh, we've shortened the number amount of black in there. And you can go right up and you can make it stark, all kinds of crazy things you can do with it. So you've got a lot more adjustment in this one than you do with the, uh, with the other one. See, that's kind of a dramatic one right there. So let's just kind of leave that one and uh, we'll say that everybody is really really happy and applauding over this one here. I like dark black and white prints obviously and now I'll just say OK here to get rid of that one. So that's kind of cool. The problem with it is that it's on a single layer. Well come on out layers. It's on a single layer and that we can't do anything with this because we don't have a history brush and uh, so this, this is it. So we're going to uh, we're going to undo this one, and now what we're going to do is we're going to use the non-destructive way that doesn't mess up your your master shot unless you decide to. We're going to use the gradient map again, but now it's an adjustment layer, and we got the same familiar old box. Uh, just let me get rid of this thing. Okay, so we can see that we've got it here. Okay, um, I'm going to make this. I'm going to move this out of the way, and there we go gradient map. And there's our gradient map. We tap on that, we get this familiar dialog box that's familiar to now with for about two minutes. So I'll move this out of the way. There we go. So now we can start messing around with these things. And we can find what we like. We can move the whites up. You can see how it's coming along. It's hard to get this huge dialog box and the video at the same time. So I can take the whites out. Uh, bring this down a bit. Take that down a bit. Ooh, look at that. That's amazing, huh? Just sky. So I don't... Oh, see what I've done is I've, I tapped in the wrong place and I added another one of these stops. So I'm just going to take it and drag it away. There, that's a bit better. Now, the way you get this center one right here is you just tap on either this one or this one. Or click, if you must click. Um, okay, let's uh, let's find ourselves a nice... A nice amount of darkness and lightness. And, okay, we'll just go with that. And there we go, we're finished there. So now what we've got is an adjustment layer. And the nice thing about adjustment layers is you always get this little box here. 
and that's called a layer mask. On a layer mask with the default black and white colors, which are the default colors in Photoshop black and white, and you get them by hitting the D key, we can go through and we can bring back color. Uh, we can modify this, this layer with this layer mask. So what I'm going to use is a black pen or a black brush and I'm going to get these guys out of the way. I'm going to zoom in a bit on this roof and we'll bring it across. Okay, get a brush. This is a seven pixel brush and I can use it as either a... I don't think you can see this. No, you can't. Well, you can just see the edge. The edge looks great. Okay, I, I can bring back the color. And I'm using the brush. This is a brush that's set just for size. So the harder I press, the bigger it gets, you see? Whoa. And if I press lighter, I get a thinner brush. That's good for working in tight areas and thick areas and tight areas again. So let's get this red done here. A lot of, you know, people like to do this to make a black and white shot and then bring back some color somewhere in it. And this is just such a striking roof. Not the best print or best picture in the world, but hey, it, it serves the purpose and does this one quite well. Dude, there, there we go. Okay, so there's our uh, our roof brought back. Now on this, if we tap twice on the zoom t uh, tool, you get that. Okay, so now we've got a nice looking little print, and it's okay. One more thing we can do is we can we can flatten this, and we can just give it a bit more life. So we'll flatten that image. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back out here. I'm going to get the gradient tool. And you can't see it because it's up at the top. But you want the linear gradient, which is the first one on the left. And you just tap on here and you choose which one you want. And we'll take this one here. Now we'll take that one there. That's foreground to transparent. Okay. Now put my gradient editor thing there, the little cross. Press the shift key, hold it down. Just drag straight down a little ways. And it'll darken up the sky up behind the clouds. I'm going to do the same thing down here. Bring it up, darken up the road a bit, and we can come in a bit on the edges. It's like a vignette. Okay, so there's our, our print. Now you can modify these things. You can come from the corner here if you want. There. And so you can, you can do all kinds of cool things. So the eye is going to go right to here because everything is kind of forcing it in that way. So there you go. You can mess around with this. I'm not saying that this is the best print that's ever been made, but uh, hey, you know, this is how you do it. The process is more important than the content, right? And the process is how you do it. The content is the picture you're working with. And this content is okay. The process is what you want to know. So there you go. That's how you do some pretty good black and white conversions in Adobe Photoshop Elements 5 and I presume 4, 3, 2, and 1. Hope you enjoyed this. I hope you find it useful and hope you have fun with it. Come and pay a visit to my site, www.thegraphicstablet.com, and you will see it on the last slide of this video. So thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate your time. Bye now.